everyone, Crystal here from Galaxy Finds, and I have an epic haul for you today. It's going to be super long, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to do this in pieces, but we'll see what happens. So today is Monday, Friday I went to the bins with four other resellers and my mom, and yeah, we went to the bins, then we went to lunch, and then three of us went to the savers down the street afterwards so I'm going to show you everything that I got we were literally out of the house from 8 30 in the morning till 9 o'clock at night <laughs> it was just a huge day of thrifting so I'm going to start with the stuff I got at the bins because that's what we spent like from 9 30 to 1 o'clock at the bins and the bins were not great not great um they weren't awful but they weren't like, I wasn't like, oh my god. So I didn't get anything groundbreaking, but I got stuff that, like, you know, will sell. And I tried to pick up a few things for hopefully my first Poshmark live show. I'd go through the training on Thursday, this Thursday the 6th, and then hopefully I can plan a show. And my show is, you know, I'm going to do vintage sweaters, so I have a whole lot of them. And, yeah, here we go. So speaking of vintage sweaters, this one I'm definitely going to use in the show. This is a St. John's Bay 90s sweater. It's a really nice print on it. I think it has a few little stains, so I'm probably going to wash this. Um, it says it's a petite extra large. It's probably more like a medium. I do have a wash pile, so... <laughs> That's why I wanted to get through this so I could like start sorting everything. So I've started photographing, so um, I have this vintage nightgown that reminds me so much of my nightgown as a child. <laughs> it's just like this tiny floral. It's in like new condition. Like it doesn't look worn. It doesn't have any tags though, but I would say like 90s. Yeah. So that's cute. Um, I found this Barstool Sports sweatshirt. It says, I am unwell. And then it says, call her daddy on the hood. And it's like a crop. I looked it up and it retailed for $90. So, hey, hopefully I get a good, good amount. Here's the Barstool Sports logo. Um, I have this nice hat. I have so many hats to list. Um, I've been putting them off, but this is by Betmar, New York. It's like a Sherpa lined. I don't know, it's very cool looking. I think it's, it'll sell. I think I only got two pairs of shoes. So, so here's one. These are just a pair of booties from American Eagle. They're just in, in style, in season. They look unworn. So those should sell pretty quickly. And then I got a pair of vintage Keds. They're just like an off-white color. Bottoms don't look too bad. They are, let's see what size they are. Probably should have checked that, but. <laughs> oh, they're a seven and a half. So, I think they'll sell. They're just like a basic shoe. I got a pair of New in the bag Soma underwear, which I'm probably just going to keep because they only retail for $12, but they're sealed in a bag, so I'm like, you know. Next. Oh, this was something uh, that Joni threw to me. This little, like, red rayon, like, sundress thing. It's by Morgan K. Collection, made in Indonesia. I don't know what it is, but I thought it was it was cute. It's this nice like red and black. I grabbed this purse because these kind of purses seem to be doing well right now. It's like a sort of like a straw. Um, it is also new with tags. Oh wait, no, it's not new with tags. It is. It still has the Goodwill tag on it, and they wanted six dollars. But this is um, just Gap, but it's in like perfect condition like lined inside yeah, it's sort of like a cable knit looking thing 
I grabbed this this feed bag. I thought this was cool. Um, these are great like for groceries and stuff. But yeah, it's from rice. So yeah, I thought that was cool. It did have a tag on it that looks vintage, so I don't know. We'll see. This my mom had found. It's, it looks it looks vintage, but it's not. It is a Carl Lagerfeld. Lagerfeld. Um, it does have a little spot somewhere, but I think it's washable. It's an extra large. It's got these little pearl buttons at the neck. It's just peach. It's very cute. There's a that's an L bean bag. It's canvas. It's very like heavy duty. It uh it's like a 90s yellow bean. I might just throw this in the wash. Because it does have a little bit like a little something on the bottom. I think that can be washed. Oh wait, I grabbed three pairs of shoes. I grabbed these two because they looked brand new. They have this like snakeskin block heel. I might actually bring these to consignment. They are just by the brand Bamboo. But they looked like, oh yeah, they are brand new. Have brand new that was $34.99 so yeah I think those might do better at consignment camel pants have been trending um, these are Carhartt they are a women's 12 12 short so, yeah these are good for for fall I think These are a pair of little kids snow pants, which we are coming into that. They are vintage L.O. Bean. There's a lot of L.O. Bean at the New Hampshire bins because we are near Maine, which is the L.O. Bean headquarters. Yeah, they're size 8. Just black. This is such a cute little apron. Look at this print. Very cottage core. Just like a half apron. Um, had to grab it. Love the print. These are shorts, but you know, they're Patagonia, so I grabbed them. There's a little pair of like board shorts. They're a women's eight. This I grabbed for consignment. They love Chico's there. This looks brand new. It's a Chico size 2.5. Just like a three-quarter length sleeve shirt. Good for the office. <laughs> this is going in my Christmas collection and yeah. <laughs> Santa's favorite hoe. Come on, how could I not get that? <laughs> Everybody where I was with was like, oh I saw that and I'm the one who grabbed it. It's by Teespring which is like a, a company that artists like go on and upload their their artwork and then it can be printed on like t-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, all that kind of stuff. So that was fun. This is just a cute little tie-dye top. Okay friends, my camera died. I'm gonna keep going. It'll probably die again so this will be kind of choppy but I stopped and I was showing you this. This is a little tie-dye free size by Shoreline. I don't know. It's just cute. Um, I picked up this little guy because it's spooky season and there was a girl there who was literally filling buckets of Beanie Babies and there were so many there. Like somebody must have liquidated their Beanie Baby collection and I didn't know people actually still cared about them because I still have all of my own. <laughs> but I don't have this guy and um, I might list him, I might just use him for decoration, I don't know, we'll see. But I gave her another Beanie Baby that I had found, and I was like, oh, you want this? And she's like, oh, I bought that one. I was like, no, this is mine. So <laughs> that was cute. Um, I got this for the consignment store. It's this, like, really pretty orangey color. It is a Talbot's jacket. It's a size 18, which is nice. It's just a little cropped, like, blazer coat. Um, this is adorable. It's a little vintage, like, baby like crinoline is that how you say it skirt just make you know you wear this underneath a dress 
to make it all poofy. It is by Singing Needles. I don't know. <laughs> Looks to be about like 60s. I don't know. It's it's cute though. Just needs a little full steam. Um, I had to pick this up because it's Hello Kitty and it has little ears. So it's a children's size extra large. If this was my size, it would be on me right now. It's got a little sparkly bow on it. It's very cute. <laughs> I picked this guy up for my Christmas collection as well. This Bullwinkle. It's uh, vintage though. It's Christmas. So it is from 1996, it says on the tag. It's in like perfect condition. So yeah, it says Rocky and Bullwinkle 1996. Um, I was trying to look up comps, and it, I mean, it doesn't go for a lot, but it said that, like, it came from Macy's, I think. I'm trying to, like, throw them over there for my Christmas collection. Um, picked up this, like, little boy suit coat, because these usually do pretty well. It's in perfect condition. It's by French Toast, which I think is another, like, JCPenney or something brand. Uh, oh, this is adorable. This is a baby blanket stand back here. It's got all these little teddy bears and flowers on it. It's super cute. Looks handmade. So that, I don't usually sell anything like that, but I couldn't pass that up. And more, <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram, but Casey took a picture of me with this poncho on. It's like a granny square poncho, which granny square stuff does really well. And I'm thinking I'm going to put this in my vintage sweater show, so if you guys are interested in this, make sure you come to my show, because it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. This is just a Walmart thing, but I got it for myself. This is a new tag. <laughs> Nap queen. It's really soft, too, so I might just, you know, wear this to bed. So. These are adorable, like, little overalls these were actually on a doll and I took them off because they're like yeah yeah they still got an elastic around them so somebody had dressed up a doll but these are like actual children's overalls and I didn't recognize the brand but it looked kind of fancy so I don't know if you guys know it's called L-I-K-U Miku it's a six to nine months um I don't know see that but they're super cute yeah so got those this <laughs> my mom pulled it out and she was like do you want this it's just like a vintage windbreaker teal and white thought it was cool it's by Nina St. Clair which I have definitely sold this brand before so this is a 90s brand size medium this skirt definitely something I sell. It's just like a like a rayon 90 skirt with flowers. Yeah. Those sell pretty well. This is a vintage bathing suit. I always pick up vintage bathing suits. Um, someone across from me picked it up and was like, oh look at this, a vintage bathing suit. And I was like, ooh, can I have it? It is um, L.L. Bean. I think it's like 90s L.L. Bean. It's like ribbed and stuff too. It's cute. Um, this is a bag of fabric. I'm not going to take all this out, but like there's so many cute fabrics. In it. I just like could not pass it up. And it was like, so like Asian prints and there's like cat prints. It's just really nice fabric. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Oh, I got this with um, Barbie car in mind. <laughs> this is like hot pink. New York City embroidered. I think this will do well. I could probably post it on Depop. Do really well. Here is another 90s skirt. Um, is it rayon as well? Might be. It's a rayon acetate. But yeah, another black floral. This one's got daisies on it. 
midi skirt. This is another sweater for the collection. This is a pink cable knit sweater. This is one of the first things I picked up. It's by Jumper. I'm gonna say like, it's either 80s or 90s, but this is going in the sweater collection. This, oh, okay. So I picked this up and this is LuLaRoe, but it is like a newer style. So it's got these sleeves, these like fan sleeves and like, uh, it's really cute. It is an extra small, but you know how LuLaRoe runs big. It looks like it could probably fit up to like a medium. It's very stretchy. I just thought it was cute. Like, I I will only pick up LuLaRoe with the bins, but this is a cute style. I, for, I don't know what it's called. I have to look it up, but they all have style names. So I got a bunch of unicorn stuff for my old nanny kid. Her birthday's in December and she's turning eight and she loves unicorns, she's having a unicorn birthday party. So I found a ton of unicorn stuff, with the help of Joni too, who threw me a bunch of stuff. So this is just Cynthia Rowley, and, and there's this one. They're all like tunic length. This is size eight. It's like animal, so it's probably like Walmart. That just says magical. And then this one, it's a size 10, but it is sparkly unicorns again. I think it's like a Marshalls brand. So that. I got this shirt from my mother-in-law because she loves dragonflies, so I gotta give her that. This sweatshirt, if this fits me, it's mine. So I forget who found this, one of the people we were with, but it's covered in caps front and back. And it's like an Asian extra extra large, so it's might be like a large. If it doesn't fit me, I'm gonna sell it, but I love this sweatshirt so much. Um, this is going in the Christmas collection. We got Christmas Martians from Toy Story. They are very cute. It is a size large. Um, more fabric. This one on the outside has like spoons and stuff like from the kitchen and then there's some like animal print. This is a little 90s dress by Rampage. It's just like a little mini dress with like the lace up back and it is a size 9 which is like the extra small small. It's very cute though. So 90s dresses do well. I got two ties. I like the patterns. This one right here is by Lan Lanvin Paris, and I have sold this brand before, this vintage brand. And then this, I just love the floral. You don't see a lot of men's ties like in this print. It's by Penguin. That one is not vintage. This one, I think Casey threw me this shirt. It's a beaded blouse. Probably 90s. It does not have shoulder pads though, which makes me think they might have been taken out if there were. But that is pretty. This is a wrinkled mess, <laughs> but it's by April Cornell and it is new with tags. So, oh no, the tag is in there. Oh no, the tag fell off. <laughs> it's somewhere in the bag, but it's like this long, it's like a midi dress and it's like all poofy on the bottom. It's like an off-white color, beautiful Cornell. But yeah, it is new with tags. The tag is probably in the bag somewhere. I'm gonna hang this over here so I can steam it. This is Rolling Stones, just a little band tee. Um, this is it's by Zara, I think. Oh no, it's not. It's this tailgate. I thought I said the Tarafa look or whatever probably like Walmart or something, but it's a band tee. This is an L.L. Bean shacket. More L.L. Bean, I know. It's just flat inside. It is an extra large regular traditional fit. This, oh my god, I found this. It's, it's heavy, but oh my gosh, look at this jacket. It is so cool. Oh my gosh. 
So it is Barnes and Barker. Size small, but has thinsulate inside. The inside's even cool printed. Um, all the buttons are there. It is obviously leather. Like, oh my gosh, look at the silhouette on this. Like big, big shoulders, the tucked in waist. This is very cool. There's another little t-shirt, Rugrats. Some like new condition. I love Tribe. Nothing fancy. This, I like the colors of this plaid. That's why I grabbed it. I'm not sure. I always, let's see. Right side buttons. Men's? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't have a tag. It says it's a medium, but it doesn't have any brand tag, so. I just really like the pink and purple. This, let's see. Oh, this is a Harley Davidson, like long sleeve fitted t shirt. It's from the Smoky Mountains of Maryville, Indiana. Or not, wait, tennis. Does that say I N or T N? I don't know. I can't see. It's an extra small. <laughs> Either way, it's Harley Davidson. Hopefully, it will do well. Um, this shirt, I just. No, I really loved the print on it. Like, it's got elephants. It's got, like, all of these sort of animal hieroglyphic sort of things. It's got shoulder pads. It's by N Touch Petite. But it's, like, sort of like that ribbed fabric. It's polyester spandex. No, it's very cool. This, one of the, one of the girls from Maine threw me this, this fancy little sparkly bag, um, this is by Bisu Bisu, this is very Y2K, this will be great for the holidays and all that, so, that. I love, love, love this Millie jacket, it's just black corduroy, but it's like a wide whale corduroy, that's what they call the, the corduroy that's like thicker, so it's, yeah, it's Millie. And it doesn't have a size, I don't think. But it looks kind of small, so. It's just a black corduroy, though, so. That'll go with a lot of stuff. Um, go. Oh, this is... There is a 90s, 80s dress. It's belted. Shoulder pads. It's by Tina Bari. Made in the USA, size 10, kind of sailor-ish looking. I don't know where that tag went. The tag's not at the bottom of this bag. Okay. And this, I'm going to put into the sweater sale as well. This is Spago. It's just a little cardigan with some embroidery at the bottom. My best guess would be 90s, but... I'm trying to get as many sizes as possible into this, and that was a plus size. Um, yeah, I don't see the tag from that. I promise it was new with tags, but... That, I think, is everything from my Goodwill bins. And then the rest of this is from the savers we went to. So after the bins, we went to lunch at this Mexican place. It was awesome. Casey and I have been there before, so we were like, we're, we definitely have to go back. We stayed there. The girls from Maine left because they had come really early in the morning. And then we decided to go to Savers. And that Savers, I remember it being very expensive last time we went. Still very expensive. <laughs> but we ended up spending like three, three and a half hours there because we just went through everything and we found some really great stuff. So I am going to start with this because I just steamed this. It's a Harry Potter dress and it's plus size. It's got like the great hall at the bottom. It does have a few little flaws around like the sleeve but I don't think it's anything major. It's just Harry Potter size 16. Very cool. Um, trying to like put them in the right piles here. I have two pairs of jeans that I need to wash. I saw I did jeans at the, the last because Casey is going through her cart and asking me and Joni for help 
like telling her like should I get this should I not get this and so we were standing right next to the jeans so I started going through the jeans and I was already like super burnt out at that point so I was not paying attention but this is a pair of Judy Blue this is the first time I've ever found this brand okay we're going to start again um I was showing you this I had found a pair of Judy Blue jeans in a size 15 slash 32 relaxed fit but I didn't realize they have a stain so I'm going to throw them in the wash and see what happens I also found this pair of Hollister overalls in a large so um, but there is some like yellowing sort of on the front I don't know what that is looks like dirt so I'm going to wash those too Next, may have been a silly purchase, but I love it. I'm calling this the Joy Spires Co. If you watch Stranger Things, you know who that is. It is a super long, like, rust-colored, um, downhill, like, puffer jacket. It is by the brand Sharp. Um, it's, it's very long. Like, it goes down, like, mid-calf on me, so... And it says it's a size 9, 9, 10, but it's like a small. It's in great condition. It will keep somebody very warm this winter. So, I really loved that. This camera is bothering me. Let's see. A little better? A little bit. Okay. Um, I guess I'll show you the jeans, even though that was like the end of what I found. I did find a pair of wedgie jeans in a size 26, and they are button fly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this Savers was very overpriced, but I found the things, the, the best price things I found were the jeans, actually. And I didn't pay over $10 for any of the jeans. Um, and in my Savers, most of the jeans are marked at like 15 bucks. so, but I will say, I was with Casey and I found a pair of like 90s LL Bean jeans, like not cute vintage jeans, just like frumpy looking. And they looked like a dog like chewed the waistband of these jeans. And they wanted $13.49 for them. And then I'm going down the aisle and I find, what was it? And I find these, like a few down from them. These are Good Americans. I've never found Good American before. They are a the Good Legs crop. And they only wanted like $6.49 for, the, for these. But they wanted $13.49 for the dog chewed up pair of old L.O. Bean jeans. So that's just where we are in prices at this place. <laughs> um, yeah. These are a pair of Torrid Sky High Skinny in 24, so great size, black jeans with some distressing, yeah, these are great, these will sell well. I just sold a pair of Torrid jeans the other day for like 30 bucks, so. This is a pair of American Eagle jeans, I love American Eagle jeans, especially in bigger sizes. They are like a acid washed with like, oh these need to be cleaned, they have a stain, but I think that should be okay. They are the mom jean in a size 12, so those will do well. These are another pair of American Eagle, they basically have like a hole right under the butt. They are like made that way. <laughs> These are also the mom jeans. They are size 14. These are good. I was thinking of trying them on myself, but I really don't think I could I could handle this hole like right under my butt cheek. <laughs> Some teenager will want those. This is another pair of overalls, which you know, overalls have been in lately. They're distressed. Um, they are from the Gap, but they're an extra large, and they're in like really, really good condition. So, I go 
got these. And I got these fabulous vintage Lee jeans. They are like a stone washed. And look at the back. Like I love the back like yoke up at the top. So they are a size 14th T, which the waist on this can't be you know, a regular size 14. So I will have to measure those. These are a pair of Madewell. You know, I said I was like breaking up with Madewell because they never do that well for me, but these are current style. They're the 10 inch road tripper in a 32. They're in good condition. They were cheaper than those <laughs> dog chewed L.L. Bean jeans. So there's that. These are a pair of like stretch pull on jeans. They're from Soft Surroundings. They are a size 1X. These are great, like jeggings. These, I probably made a mistake buying these, but I really thought they were a trendy style. So these are like a wide leg, cargo, acid washed. They are from Kendall and Kylie. I did see a few of them go for like 25-ish. So if I can get at least 25, that's fine. Another pair of American Eagle jeans. These are the jegging, but they are size 18. And they have like a raw hem, like a shark bite hem or something. So these are a good pair, nice dark wash. These also might be a mistake because I saw these and I thought Britney Spears style, like lace up. They are Jordache vintage, which is like a like a remade vintage for the Jordash line, but they were so sold at Walmart, so I don't know what I'll get for these. I'm hoping at least 25. I have another pair of Madewell. Um, they are in good sizes, so that's why I grabbed them too. These are the Kirby Road Tripper Jeggings in a 32. Yeah, these are from like 2021 and 2020, I think, so. Not bad. That is all the jeans. Okay. Here is the last part of... This is the non-jean stuff that I got. So I went through dresses. There are some dresses that just made me angry because <laughs> they were so cute and they wanted like $16.50 a piece for just like a basic vintage dress and I'm like, there's no way I'm paying that. Um, this was cute though. It's very like teacher, teacher-esque. It's embroidered, it has little like bugs and butterflies. Yeah, it is linen and it is a large. So I thought that was cool. This I have made the mistake of trying it on and it's just so comfortable, but I think I'll sell it. It is by CNC California. It is like a gauzy romper. It's just very soft. And like this fabric, oh, I love it, but I don't need a romper. I don't need one, especially going into winter. I don't need a romper. It was one of the vintage dresses that they didn't chart the price up. It's a little 70s dress. It's sheer. It probably had like a slip under it, but look at these flowers. It's purple. It's very pretty. So I can definitely sell that. another vintage dress. This is a Leslie Fay and it's a size 16. So it'll probably fit like a large. It's pleated and plaid. It's got its belt. It's in great condition. It's a little shirt dress. I loved this color. It's like a teal. Here's another sweater that's going into the sweater sale. This little color block. It doesn't have any tags on it, but it's definitely vintage. I'm looking inside, yeah, it looks like someone cut out all the tags on it, but it just needs a little shave. It's good to go. So that goes up in the sweater bucket. This, this is one that Joni found for me. 
the waist is so tiny on this skirt, but it says that it is a size 6. So, size 6 from long, long ago is by Herman Geist. But it is like a maxi plaid skirt. This is a great, like, dark academia skirt. This dress I am in love with, and I think I, yeah, I paid up a little bit for this, but I found the stock photos for it, and it's eloquy. So it's got these cutouts on the side. If I can remember to pop a picture up, I will, but like, I don't know, it's just so pretty. And it is a size 22, which is fabulous. It's got these like bubble sleeves. It's in perfect condition. So I do like selling Eloquy. I find like Eloquy and like Torrid are both really good. Plus size brands to sell. This is just a little 60s shift dress. Very like Jackie O inspired. It's got like velvet here. It doesn't have any tags inside but they didn't want a bazillion dollars. Oh wait, it does have tags. Didn't want a bazillion dollars for it. It says designed by Lee Collins. With a very like 60s tag. The zipper is green. It is lined. It's just really well made. It's like a heavy wool. So that's a good holiday dress. Ooh, this was sassy. I found this in the lingerie department. <laughs> We're going all over the place here. This is just a little red, lacy dress. It's like a little slip dress. It's by Solange Satin. If I can show you. Yeah, they didn't. They only wanted two ninety nine for this, and it's a size fourteen sixteen. I don't think it's vintage, but it is very cute. I found in the Halloween department. I had some Halloween department scores at the Savers. It was way better than my Halloween department. So these are like these cutout pleather pants by IMGia. And I found out that these retail for $100 and they were sold at Dolls Kill. They are an extra small. They're very tiny. But hopefully someone is looking for these because they are very cool. And then I, found, I also found these in the the Halloween department, which very tiny. These are by K Deer, which I've never picked up, but they did not want a lot for these either. This is what it looks like. And I did find a stock photo for this too. So I found this like fun little moo moo pockets, floral, just pretty little house dress could belt it, just make it really cute. Uh, let's see, oh, okay. another vintage dress that I found. Love these stripes. It is also sheer, so you would need your own slip or whatever. And it is by BGB Limited. This is 12, which, yeah, it's definitely not 12. <laughs> But I like the stripes on this, so I had to get it. This is a really nice either 50s or 60s dress. It does have a belt, which is in the bag. But it is like, it has all the buttons. They're just not all buttoned. This is beautiful, like, sage green color. It's like in perfect condition. It's by Berkeley, made in the USA. And it has belt that's in that sage green. I think it says the size is 12 petite or something. I don't know. But the whole thing was there, so I paid a little more for that one. Um, okay, so I found like three things by this brand. It is Best Deal by Creepy Co. Creepycompany.com. And I found these like plus size pajama pants. Look at the cats. These are like very Halloween. They're just pajama pants though. And these ones in are, are in a 3X. So I had never heard of the brand and then I looked it up and they sell for, I mean, they retail for a lot. And these, look at these ones. Look at the 
print. And these are 4X. And they're, yeah, they're the same style pant. And then I found a whole set with ghosts on them. And the ghost set is 3X as well. This is what the, the logo looks like. Creepy Co. And then the pants. I didn't find tops for the other two, but this was connected, so... Yeah. There were pants that go with it. I think these might glow in the dark, too. They have that, like, sort of glow-in-the-dark look to them. I'll have to check it out. This dress, I was kind of on the fence about, but, like, it's very... It's very, like, October... It has an, an October feel to it. I'm going to get it listed very soon. It's got these big puffy sleeves, like a midi length. It is by REO Originals. It's got a union tag, made in the USA. does not have a size, but probably like a small. Just a very cool, like, sort of Wednesday Adams dress. Just a cute little like polyester 70s dress, stripes, pockets. It's by Times Up. It is a size 10, so like a small. It's kind of sheer, but let's see. Okay, another little, little blue dress. That was cute. These sleeves are puffy. It's a midi length, just polka dots. It's by Andrea Gale, size 10, polyester. Just a basic little like 70s, 80s dress. Um, okay, this I grabbed and I actually looked it up in the store. So, this is a queen, an Adam Lambert. VIP hooded robe. It is missing the, um, the the tie around the waist, but I looked it up and these were only available to people who paid for VIP for the concert. And they were very limited. And I saw, I think there's one up on Poshmark for like $68 and I saw some that sold for like 100 I mean, without the belt it might sell for a little less, but I'm willing to take a take a chance on that. Here, oh my gosh, so I don't know if you've ever felt one of these purses. I brought one to prom like this. It's just like, it feels kind of like a chain mail, but it's like, but this is new with tags from Bradley's. It's vintage and it has Victoria Place Limited from Boston. I just thought it was a really cool purse. Great for like holidays silver goes with everything so that's cool this robe <laughs> i really loved it's just so fuzzy and it's new with tags as well dead stock if you will and yeah it's it's so fuzzy it's so soft so i hope somebody loves that This was really pretty. It has this embroidery. It's like a sheer robe. Um, yeah, this embroidered flora, floral thing by Valerie Stevens too. So it is a 1X. Another plus size. I found like a lot of really good plus size on this trip, which I, I love. <laughs> this is a... Oh, and it does have a a sash, the one I just showed you. This is by COS. Um, COS does pretty good. This is a size 8. It really needs to be steamed. I'm going to put it over here so it can be. Um, it's like a very deep royal blue. It's got a sash. I'm going to try to find some sort of stock photo. So it looks a little strange, but the stuff from COS is usually like very like plain colored but kind of like weird silhouettes and stuff I find. 
but that's what people who are buying that brand are looking for so yeah okay this is cool so this beautiful jewel tone dress okay it's hard to see with the the light here but this is beautiful this is the oldest J. Jill tag I have ever seen in my life. And now I have to go research J. Jill. Because this is like the J. Jill. And I did not know how old it was before I found this dress. So I was like, oh, I just have to. I have to. And it's a nice like midi dress, long sleeve, jewel tones. It looks like it's in perfect condition, like literally never worn. Yeah. I'm excited to do some research on that. And of course, Vintage Victoria's Secret. Um, it's a petite, small, no, it's just a small. It's got the, the robe. Okay, I'm going to finish this video now. <laughs> I was showing you this Victoria's Secret robe, gold label. Yes, royal blue has the tie. Wonderful. My best two purchases from this trip. Found them in the Halloween section. This is a Minnie Mouse dress by the dress shop. The dress shop is like the really expensive dresses they sell at Disney World and they are very very sought after and collectible. And I found two of them. And here is the other one I found that seems to be more rare. This one is the Disney cruise ship one. They're both a size 3X. Once again, awesome plus size. And they both retailed for over $120. So I'm super excited to have these two. This one is missing a belt, but it just came with like a thin red belt. So hopefully that's not an issue. They're both in perfect condition, like just worn to Disney for a day or something or a couple hours, you know? So I looked on Posh. There's only one of the cruise line one listed and it's in an extra small and it's for like a hundred something dollars. And the Minnie Mouse one, I think there's one other one listed. So I think those two will do really good. I might actually even make back most of the money from my savers trip with those two dresses. So that is everything. Um, sorry for my camera malfunctions, but we did it. We made it. We're at the end. So give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. I probably won't have a haul for a while because this is a lot and I need to deal with it. But thank you for watching and I hope you have a great week.